Happy holidays, friends, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessie, also known as Miss Cherry, and I'm so glad that you guys are here today. We're here with another really fun Christmas Disney unboxing, and my friends over at Mickey Loot surprised me with an amazing Christmas box that we are gonna open today, so why don't we just go ahead and get right into it. Mickey Loot is a Disney subscription box that is fully customizable and they actually sent me this box and I'm not 100% sure what level of box it is but obviously after I'm done editing I'll be able to put what box it is right here for you and also I'll link it down in the description box down below and they did send this to me for reviewing purposes so thank you Mickey Loot for sending this over to me to uh, share with all of you and I do have a promo code with Mickey Loot and it's Cherry 10 for $10 off your first box now they have a new they have a new preferences system, so they're able to really dial in your preferences, which is really awesome um, to customize your box a little bit more. And they've also been introducing a lot of themed boxes, which I think is super duper fun. You'll have to go and check. They just did a couple of princesses, and then they do have like a Star Wars box, and then they have their regular Disney subscription boxes that are customizable, and it's all from A ticket to E ticket attraction boxes. So I kind of love that nod to um, the old ticketing system that they do. Very well done, Mickey Loot. But I'm really excited to get into this box. I've already um, sliced it open with Scar, my, my handy dandy pocket knife. And this is what I'm seeing on the inside. Something that Mickey Loot does really special, by the way, spoiler alert card, we'll set this to the side. They individually wrap everything in your box. So it's literally like Christmas. Um, so there's a little card here. Oh man, that's really cute. So we have a Christmas card and it looks like an ugly Christmas sweater. It almost looks kind of like the sweater that I'm wearing. And it says, happy holidays from the gang. Jesse, wishing you the most magical Christmas from all of your friends at Mickey Loot. Oh, thanks guys. Uh, happy holidays and Merry Christmas to you. Mm, I'm so excited to open this box. Um, Mickey Loot is a fairly new Disney subscription box company. And so I've never seen any of their Christmas boxes. So I'm really excited to see what we've got here. Okay, so let me take off some of the tissue paper here. And, um, oh wow! <gasps> okay, so we have like these air pockets, but look, there's confetti inside. Do you see that? <laughs> that is too fun. Oh my gosh, you guys and your details. So let's go ahead and start with this package. It feels soft. I was gonna say like a shirt, but I don't know if it, I'm not sure if it's gonna be a shirt. Um, Ooh, what is this? Oh my gosh! You guys, it's an apron! Oh my gosh, this paper um, is so cute. So we have an apron, this was from this year too, and it says Baking Spirits Bright. And how cute is that? So it does have, I'm gonna see if I can flip it over and show you, it does have a little gingerbread, cookies and Christmas tree and it is an all over print and it does have like that candy cane print for um, around the pocket and also around the edge of the apron and for the ties. If you are new to my channel, the last three years we've been doing a gingerbread house decorating competition and I cannot think of something more perfect for me and for this channel than a gingerbread themed apron. Chef's kiss, Mickey Lou. Thank you. <laughs> I'm totally going to wear this next year. If you haven't seen that gingerbread house competition, I'm going to link it above and down below. We still have a few days to vote. We're giving everyone a complete week to vote. And then we're going to tally them up and let everyone know the winner over on my Instagram account. So if you'd like to go and um, join me on Instagram, it's at Miss Jessie Cherry and I'll leave that information. But it was a pretty stiff competition this year 
And I feel like every year we just keep upping the ante and like I, I don't even know what we're going to be doing for next year. Like it's going to have to be like maybe animatronic, like we're, it's going to have to have like a moving and talking feature. <laughs> Something along those lines. <laughs> anyway, a great first item. This is super awesome. Okay, and then we are moving on. Oh my gosh, there's another little air pocket with some confetti. So we have this. This looks like the size, doesn't this look like the size of like a Funko? So we have a little box. Oh no, that's not a Funko. It's just the size of a Funko. Okay. Now, it is sealed, so let's open this and see what we've got. I have to know, do you guys make, uh, do you guys decorate gingerbread houses? Because I found that a lot of people do, and I just think that's so fun, because um, if you do, I would love to see, please send me an Instagram DM so I can see your gingerbread houses. Okay, so we have um, something that is wrapped very carefully inside of this green paper. I think it's an ornament, if I'm feeling correctly. Oh, okay. I'm gonna be very careful. Oh my goodness. Stop! Oh my gosh. Okay, so I don't have a Disney store here in Alaska. And I know this is from the Disney store and it just makes my heart sing. Like this is so pretty. And I never get to see any of the sketchbook ornaments in real life unless I receive them from subscription boxes. So this makes me so happy. Okay, check this out. Oh my goodness. It's Nani. Like, okay, number one, can we talk about how? Um, Nani is such an underrated character, like what an inspirational queen she is, raising her sister, um, working so hard, doing all of the things, like I am so proud of her. Oh no, this is broken. Oh my gosh, I just realized that. It's okay, it's like the edge of the surfboard came off. This little piece, the edge of the surfboard, don't worry, I will totally like be able to um, glue this back on this back onto the board um anyway we love Nani so much and I just feel like she's so underrated and just doesn't get enough attention and uh, Stitch is holding on to Nani's leg and then there is Lilo at the front of the board and look how beautiful like this um the water is you can like see through it and it's got all the little seashells around it oh my gosh we love this and and it sings Traveling all the way to Alaska, things get broken. It totally happens. It was very well packaged. I just think it was like just very fragile. So no worries though, because I'll be able to just really quickly just glue this back together and it'll be absolutely perfect. I love this. I love that Nani is in this. It makes me so happy to see an underrated character like that. Who is your like number one underrated or underappreciated, not underrated, underappreciated character and why? That would be a really interesting thing to know because I feel like there's so much credit and, and so many things that are owed to Nani um, in that story. Uh, so very well done, Mickey Lou. Thank you so much. This is a 2020 ornament. It does say 2020 on the emblem. So the sketchbook ornaments have a little medallion right where the ribbon connects that will say the year that it was created. Um, but this item was $24.99. You guys know me so well. Thank you so much. This is so cool. Okay. I have just been so pleased with Mickey Lou. You guys are really... <sighs> You guys really knock it out of the park. Moving on to the next item. Oh, I'm feeling something that feels a lot like a headpiece, if you know what I mean. So we have um, this in a really nice tissue paper with a Mickey Lou sticker, and let's see who we have. <gasps> we do, we have this year's gingerbread ears. Oh my gosh, look at these little babies. <gasps> they are so cute. 
So I did have the opportunity to see these in person and um, these are $29.99. Oh, these are so cute. So we have the Minnie Mouse with the little, I love the peppermint details. So we have little peppermint cheeks and a peppermint bow with a peppermint in the center. And then there's Mickey Mouse with like this tiny like Santa hat. We're here for it. <laughs> and then he has a little bow with like peppermint cheeks and a peppermint in the center. I love all the peppermint details. I think red and white stripes are such a pretty element. And this item was $29.99. Can we talk? Disney, stop. CVS receipts are unnecessary. Like this is bigger than the ears are. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> okay, shall we try these on? <gasps> Let's see. Oh yeah, these are super cute except for this. <laughs> oh, these are super cute. So I have the gingerbread ears from last year and these little gingerbread guys are like half of the size of the gingerbread ears from last year. It's so interesting how they changed the design so drastically, but the uh, gingerbread people, the gingerbread Mickey and Minnie specifically that are on this design and kind of in like, I have their pajamas that are this design and in the apron are actually much more petite and small looking than the other previous gingerbread designs. The other previous gingerbread designs were kind of hefty hefty uh, guys and gals. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, I, I wanted to show you this. Another detail, look, it looks like there's like frosting going down that side. How cute is that? You guys never cease to amaze me. I'm loving these packets of glitter. Oh my gosh, I'm so here for this. And this is another box that looks kind of similar to the box that we received the Lilo and Stitch ornament in. So let's see, ooh, I think it, oh my gosh, am I getting two? Oh, this is so exciting. <gasps> I think, oh my gosh, I think we have another ornament. Stop, oh, I'm getting so spoiled. Oh, this is so exciting. Okay, or it's something very fragile. <gasps> oh, oh my gosh. Oh, it's my baby figment. Oh, my heart. Okay. I was at the Food and Wine Festival in 2020 and I did not get this and I don't know why because it's beautiful. Let's do a close up. Oh my gosh. I okay, first of all, I love Figment so much. Horns of a steer. Look at his little details, like his tiny wings. He's wearing a chef hat, which we totally appreciate. And then he has the food and wine bucket that he is pouring a rainbow into. Oh my gosh. I have a figment shelf and I will not be putting this on my Christmas tree. This will be going on my figment shelf because the detail in this ornament is so beautiful. And I found this with several other figment ornaments that they just do so much beautiful detail. And I am so excited to be going to the Festival of the Arts after the turn of the year because I'm gonna be doing some outfits that celebrate <laughs> my favorite little dragon. You'll have to let me know down below if you're a figment fan. I know that not everyone is a fan, but I, love him. You guys really know me so well, like my heart hurts. Okay, so we have a small item here that is in this little package. Let's see what we've got. Oh, cute. I actually, okay, I actually just received this in another Disney subscription box, but I love it. <laughs> So it's okay. <laughs> so this is the Brer Rose miniature ear ornament. And it is so adorable. Like, can we talk? So I love miniature everything. I am so here for anything miniature. And this is definitely not to scale because look how giant this bow is in comparison to these tiny ears. <laughs> but I'm still like, I still love it so much. And this is a $19.99 um, ornament and I actually think I'm redoing my display in my YouTube space right now and I actually think I'm gonna take this guy and display it inside of my display so I'll have one for my display and then one for my Christmas tree so pretty and I actually do not have the briar rose ears so I think I'm gonna now have to get the briar rose ears to match this ornament 
have a really hard, large item in the center of this box. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. Oh my gosh, what is this? Okay, there's lots of, um, it feels metal. Like it feels like so, I can't describe. Like it feels very, very heavy. Is this metal? <laughs> they gave me a dumbbell. <laughs> Thanks guys. <laughs> I am training for my uh, next half marathon. The next, oh my gosh, guys, the half marathon is on the 6th of January. It's like coming up so soon. <gasps> oh, it's glass. Oh my heart. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm so gonna use this on Christmas day. This is beautiful. <gasps> oh my gosh, I've never seen this product before and it's flipping stunning. Can we talk about how beautiful this platter is? So it's white and then it's got like this gold edging all the way around. It's so pretty. And then let's like zoom in on the details. So Goofy is like, <laughs> oh Goof, he's like in a really silly elf costume and he's like running and stepping on a package. <laughs> Donald is angry like huge. And then we have Chippendale on a top. And then look, the Christmas tree in the center has all of the different emblems from the park. So there's like Tiki Room, Small World. And then there's all of the little packages under the tree. Mickey is holding up the mistletoe and Minnie is kissing him. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. And then Pluto is pulling the train set. And yes, he has like little reindeer horns we have sleeping beauty castle my friends and it says merry christmas to all and then some of the buildings from main street usa holy macaroni this is i love this <laughs> So typically when we are not quarantined, we do a significant amount of hosting, especially around the holidays, because a lot of people in Alaska don't have family up here. So we kind of bring in all of the people that don't have families and have big celebrations to kind of like normalize things for them up here. And we've kind of found our tribe up here to do that. It's really fun. And unfortunately we don't get to do that this year. I just have one of my friends coming over and then my brother-in-law is gonna come down. Um, for the day, but we have a tradition of making ham sandwiches and chips and dip, and I think I'm going to put like all of the ham and cheese on this board, because wouldn't it be so cute to like take away some ham and then see some little tidbits of Disney? Yes, this is so cool. I, Mickey Loot, thank you. <laughs> I am blown away by the detail and like unique items that you sent. Like I'm floored. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you flipping joking me? Guys, we have the Christmas popcorn bucket from 2020. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. <gasps> oh, I have not seen it in real life. This is so cute. Okay, let's push it. Mickey and Minnie. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I am so excited. So this is totally gonna be going in my Disney background. So there's little Christmas lights. We've got like this kind of like, it looks like popcorn garland, right? Which would make sense because this is a popcorn bucket. Is oh yeah, you can kind of see it against my hand there. So it is illuminated, right? But this is just like a plastic Christmas tree with like a popcorn garland. Here, we'll do like a little turnaround of it. But the stars of the show, Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse, and they are holding a little candy cane in a heart shape. Like how adorable is this? I, oh my gosh, Mickey Loot, thank you. This is so cute. I would have never ever been able to get my hands on this. So what a cool item to be able to receive in this box. I am like floored. Okay, so if you press it two times, let me see if now 
There we go. So if you press the button once, it lights up the star. If you press it twice, it lights up the base. And then if you press it three times, it lights all of it up. <gasps> That's so neat. So then you can kind of see the light kind of coming through, through the little, um, Christmas lights and I want to say this is really interesting so the Christmas lights and the popcorn are actually rubber elements and then another detail I do need to show you is I do need to show you the lanyard like how cute is this lanyard it is their uh, print for this year which is all of the dis different Christmas cookies the lanyard can come off and what I do usually when I display my popcorn buckets is I just take the lanyard off and I shove it inside of the popcorn bucket that way if I ever need the lanyard I can I can grab it out of there <sighs> Wow <laughs> Oh man, they have a blinking kind. Oh man, you can have a light show in there blinking. Oh my goodness. You'll have to let me know down below what your favorite is. I mean, there were so many items that touched my heart like the Lilo and Stitch ornament, Figment. I love this platter. Also the apron, I mean, every guys, everything. Insane. Okay, so the Christmas gingerbread ears were $29. This was the limited release. C ticket attraction box. There we go. And that was a park item. So the gingerbread ears are a park item. The Epcot Food and Wine Festival Figment Ornament, $22.99, also a park item. The sketchbook ornament, Lilo and Stitch, was $24.99. The Baking Spirits Bright Apron is $29.99, which is also a park item. The Merry Christmas to All Platter, love it so much. $29.99, also a park item. The rose gold ear ornament, $19.99. And the white Christmas tree popcorn bucket, which was a specialty extra magic item, was $25. For a total value of this box of $182.94. Wow. Mickey Loot, thank you so much. What a super duper cool box the attention to detail that you pay for all of your clients like i have been so impressed seeing all of the unboxings online and seeing feedback from your customers like you're doing a great job thank you for including me in that i appreciate it so much and i have so much fun opening this box if you guys want to get a box or if you've gotten a mickey loot box let me know down below um, what you think of it if you'd like to purchase one, their information is going to be linked down below. Be sure to use that promo code CHERRY10 to get $10 off. I had so much fun hanging out with you guys. Thank you so much for being here. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below for lots of fun Disney content, especially after the turn of the year. We got some new and exciting things coming in that I can't wait to share with you. And I will see you guys in the next video. TTFN! Bye!